It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibe for around the 23rd, so right around the 23rd of June, but you know, the timing is fluid, right? It is. So what do we have for around the 23rd? What kind of message do I need to deliver for the 23rd or, you know, right around the 23rd? Ah, so what I see is the tower reversed. So the tower reversed, a permanent loss, painful change that you never saw coming. There could be some sort of an explosion. It could be an explosion within yourself, okay? There's some sort of chaos or upheaval. There's going to be a disruption. It's a faded event um, that does lead to some sort of permanent loss. Now, it could be a permanent loss of uh, a foundation that wasn't built strong or you're not, or your inner foundation isn't strong anymore. There's some sort of disruption, okay? There's going to be a disruption. I'm not trying to start a reading out by scaring somebody, but that is what I see, okay? And I'm not going to pretend and start it out all pretty just to keep you here. It's just the way it goes. So what I see is something extreme. When you get the tower reverse, that is the universe. The universe may be mad, okay? Universe is a, a Uranus, okay? Um, and that is profound change, extreme change, uh, shocking change. It comes as a big surprise. You don't see it coming, okay? So be prepared for that. That is, this is, and, and, you know, something, light is going to be shed on a situation that is, uh not stable um there's some sort of falseness about it there's uh, uh it may look good but it's not good okay um yeah there could be some health problems okay the, the tower can represent some sort of health problems okay there, there's going to be some sort of disruption around a foundation or, or you know yeah it's a foundation and I do believe, that now I see the Hierophant reverse. So the Hierophant reversed, and I'm sorry I'm seeing these reversals. That means it's extreme. So be prepared for something extreme, okay? Poor counsel. The Hierophant reverse is somebody that is in authority that is abusing their power. Somebody is having a hard time doing the right thing due to society, due to social pressure. There is somebody that is in an, in, an authoritative uh, uh, position that is... Um, being controlled, okay, and there's a disgrace here. This is an absolute disgrace. Uh, there's some poor counsel, okay. The hero font reverse. Somebody's not listening to their gut. They're not. They're not listening to God, okay. They're not listening to the higher power because of society. So they're under so much social pressure to look a certain way, and that's why we have the tower reverse. I got it. I got it. So that's why it's not as it seems, always not as it seems. Somebody's, um, built up something, something false. Okay. They've built up a false, uh, sense of security. And it's, it's, and I feel like there's some sort of extreme materialism here as well, because I just closed my eyes and I was looking at that tower, and I saw it in the upright this time. It's all false. It's all false. It's all fake. It's all, you know, looks are not are deceiving. Okay, looks are deceiving. It's not what you think it is. Somebody is very shallow and superficial on the inside. So what is going to happen? So what is going to happen? It's like lightning strikes and things blow up. In that home or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What's going to happen? There could be a fight. It's almost like I see a fight as well. A big one. A big fight. It could it could end up with a sudden departure. Somebody something gets out of control. It's very loud. If this is a loud situation, it's like a it's loud. It's gets it's very, very loud.
environment. Somebody may decide to go their own way, go within. You may need to take time. Whatever, when this when this blow up happens, whatever this blow up is, and it could happen in many different ways. There's definitely going to be a blow up of some sort. And you're probably going to need to go within. Okay, you're going to need to withdraw from others, reflect on what happened, um, need some alone time. You you know. And you really need to listen to yourself. The hermit is about listening to yourself and yourself only. Somebody is going to need time to reflect on what just happened. And they're really going to need to go within to figure out what their next move is. Something big is going to happen that is going to cause you to withdraw and think about the next move. Okay, so you're going to need time to think about what your next move is. Ace of Pentacles. Look, look at that. It's like seeing the light. The light is definitely going to be shed. Okay, I, I'm sure of it. I'm positive. And this is a positive change. Okay, it is. The Ace of Pentacles is you being given the power, okay? This is the earthly power on earth right now. Pentacles is an earthly power in your hand. This is a reality check. Somebody's getting a reality check. The light is going to be shown. And it's like, it's, it's like, it's like almost like the roof being blown right off. And it's interesting because the tower is the roof being blown right off. And you see, I was looking at this right here. So yeah, if something is gonna, somebody's gonna hit the fucking roof. <laughs> Sorry. Anyhow, um, but the light is gonna come. The light is gonna come in. The light, something is going, and we have light here too. Seeing the light, seeing the light. Somebody is gonna be seeing the light in a situation. The tower sheds light on a situation so there's going to be a big explosive blow up moment fight uh, disruption whatever it is that enlightens somebody okay it's like boom wow oh my god i just woke up and i don't know what that is but this is a new opportunity the aces are new opportunities a new beginning interesting now this is a golden opportunity to go down a new path okay it is and you're gonna have the opportunity to go down a new path but you're really gonna need to think about what just happened so something big is gonna happen knight of wands reversed now this is out of control. This is your this is something that is out of control. Somebody doing something without thinking, moving way too fast. Somebody's gonna be moving way too fast. They did something reckless. Very reckless. Violence. Uh, there could be some violence. Mm. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Now this is a challenge. This is an individual. We have a very challenging individual here. This person appears to be very cold. But she's got a harp in her hand. She's actually very loving. So there's a need to see something from a new perspective. This Queen of Swords is, she's, she's not communicating. She's put her sword down. She's acting in love. Okay, she is. 
she is. So that's interesting. She doesn't want to fight. Keeping quiet. Somebody is keeping quiet. The sun. Now the sun is, is, a, is unhappiness. It's sadness. And this it, there is an element of sadness here. We have somebody here that hasn't been honest with themselves. They haven't been honest with themselves about this person right here. I'm going to leave it sideways because there's there's a challenge. Somebody is hasn't and that's honesty. Okay, there's 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 somebody in this reading that hasn't been honest with themselves, but they're going to see the light. They've been dealing with an individual that is very forceful. Okay? Could be a could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Could be Aries, Sagittarius. Um, this is somebody who has a bad reputation, very selfish. But the sun reversed is unhappy, suffocating, unrealistic, false impressions. Somebody is putting out some false impressions here. And they're saying things that aren't true about this person. It's not true. That, that, it's not. This isn't actually a very loving person. But there's some sort of manipulation or lies, okay, with this night of, this person doesn't care who they hurt. Which is interesting. Now this is sadness. Great sadness. It is. The sun reverse is great sadness. It is. I'm sure you can find a reader to say, oh, it's still good. Oh no, it's sadness, okay? Four of Cups reversed. Now the Four of Cups reversed is seeing a new opportunity, taking a new opportunity, letting go of regret, looking forward now. So we have probably this individual who has been said to be very cold and nasty is moving on. Okay, this is moving on, taking a new opportunity, done crying about it. It's sad. It is sad. So there's some element of sadness here. Seizing a new opportunity, interested in moving forward now. Doesn't want to fight anymore, which is interesting. Something is going to happen around this Queen of Swords, or about this Queen of this Queen of Swords is involved. Now, the Queen of Swords is somebody that is, to, it can be hard to deal with because she's so authentic. She speaks the truth. She's been hurt, and she has a lot of life experience. She does. She is. You don't just become a bitch, okay? You become a bitch because of experiences that hurt you. And so, you know, I think that there's been some sort of dishonesty surrounding this individual. But this Four of Cups reverse is seizing a new opportunity. It is. It's letting go of the regrets, letting go of the stagnation. It's the end of stagnation, seizing a new opportunity, taking a new opportunity. Death. Death. So we do have a new beginning here. It's the end. It's the end of... This it has to do with the tower because we saw that card first. It's the end of this. Well, unhappy situation. Okay, somebody is going down a new path. They are, they are. Somebody is going down a new path. They're seizing a new opportunity. They're taking it. 
They're taking an opportunity. There's, there's, they've been, they've been sad long enough. Okay, they've been sad. They've been unhappy. But this death card, that is a profound change. There's going to be a massive change. There is. Somebody, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but death, we know what death is. And you know, most people say, oh, it's not an actual death. Well, it could be. This is reckless behavior, foolish behavior. Somebody that is naive, that is out of control. They could be dealing with a very malicious person. Somebody is dealing with an individual that is malicious, that is wicked. But there's something, this is coming to an end. Death is an ending. It's destruction. It's separation and loss that leads to a new beginning. So yes, yeah, so there's going to be a big moment. There is, there's going to be a big moment. Somebody is... It's, things get out of control, and I think they get out of control fast. We have one individual that is lacking clarity. They're not seeing clearly with the sun reverse, but they're going to see because light is going to be shed on the situation, and they are going to see. So light is definitely going to be shed on a situation. And the decision is going to be made after taking time to think about it, to go down a new path and to end something with an individual that is definitely hard to deal with. It feels like we have, we have one person here that is very... Um, malicious that it's almost like slander psychological abuse but in death because death is death is seeing as well hmm the tower reversed okay I knew it I did I did I did I did I, I knew it I knew it this is a permanent loss. This is a painful change that you never saw coming. This could be extreme health problems. You can't fix it. You have to go someplace else. This is a major loss. There's going to be something. And it's like a, it's like a, you see the lightning? Okay, it's like boom, boom. All of a sudden there's an instant or sudden, I hate to say this, but it, I mean, this is very sudden death okay so you know and i'm not saying that's i mean you know i don't know something suddenly ends something suddenly changes there's a sudden transition there's a sudden uh ending okay abrupt it happens you never saw it coming there's going to be an ab abrupt ending where the universe comes in and shines light on a situation you know, that changes your destination, put it that way. This gives you, it's like they give you a new opportunity. It's like you asked for it too. Because the Ace of Pentacles is manifestation. So you asked for this. You asked for it. Maybe you prayed for it, you know. In your time of, of isolation, you were praying for this change. You were praying for it because you were sad. You were crying. You were moping. You were unhappy. You know, whatever it was, you were crying. You were praying. And the unit, they bring this change in, but it is not what you think it is. Okay? Expect the unexpected with the tower. You can't predict this. This is unpredictable. Okay? So there is going to be a new opportunity that is accepted. It is going to be accepted. All right. This is a a sudden a shock, a sudden shocking uh, departure, perhaps that you did not see coming. Okay. A, a sudden ending. Okay. Something is suddenly going to end. It's going to be not. There could. I mean, the sun reverse is not going to make you happy. Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say, oh, you're going to be happy. Yeah, 
eventually you're going to see. Eventually you're going to see because this is a golden opportunity to build something new, okay? This is they're going to this is you're going to be able to build something new, a new solid foundation. You will be able to, but in the interim, you know, you're going to need to retreat. You're going to need to seclude yourself. You're going to need to think about what just happened, okay? And you're going to need to slow down a little bit. You may need to take a minute or a days to recuperate from whatever this is. Okay? This has to do with the Empress, by golly. Look on the bottom. So we're dealing, we, we're dealing with, um, well, she gives birth to a new life. The Empress gives birth to a new life. This is a new beginning. The Empress is very beautiful. She's very beautiful. If you think about the Empress, what comes before that, the High Priestess. So we have a very experienced individual that is very intuitive and very in touch with the universe, very in touch with the divine. This is a mother. Um, this is somebody that is very loving, that is all about unconditional love, very abundant, um, has a lot of love to offer, very caring, very kind, very generous. Um, the Empress has experienced pain. Okay, she has. She's learned some, some lessons. She's very... Um, Usually the Empress has life experience. She acts with unconditional love. Okay, this is unconditional love. She's selfless. She's selfless. She puts her children first. She puts everybody before her. Being loved and cared for. This is about being loved and cared for by her motherly en energy. Now this is a motherly energy that is coming in. This is this is a motherly en energy that is coming in. It's about being loved and cared for. That's what this is about. It's about being loved and cared for and somebody hasn't been taken care of. They haven't and that's why there's this one is there's a challenge here. There's somebody that you know, seems like they're bitter and cold, but actually they're quite loving. Which is interesting. Now, the Empress is the giver of life. She delivers. She delivers after experiencing pain. So this is birth. This is a birth, a rebirth. So some this is an ending that leads to a rebirth. It leads to a new life. She does everything with love. So this is about love. It definitely is about love. So there is going to be a tower moment that sheds light on a situation. And it feels like it has to do, it's almost like, I want to I wanna say there's a mother coming, somebody that is very loving, somebody that is very kind, somebody that is very generous, that is, that is coming. I don't know what that means, but that's what I want to say. Your mother is coming or something like that. I don't know what that means. Um... Something about a mother. And unconditional love. Judgment. Judgment. So this is truth being revealed. Now, I don't know if this is somebody that has passed away. Maybe it's a mother that has passed away that is protecting. This is a very protective energy that is protecting her children. Now, this is somebody that could be somebody that has passed away, you see. Judgment day. Truth revealed. Karma being held accountable. <laughs> somebody is going to be held accountable for their actions. They are. And there is somebody from the other side that is guiding. I think it's a motherly figure. There's going to be an ending, which is an absolution. There is. There's, there's, a, there's an ending, which is the death of something. Whether it's a physical death or not. This is a life-changing moment. 
there's also going to be an awakening or an awakening of some somebody's going to wake up this is forgiveness as well are you ready to be judged for your actions because this is karma this hat it's all about unconditional love and we have somebody here that hasn't been living in love and they are about to experience an explosion in their lives. Good luck.